Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching MC Car Kid, and today we're back in Greenville with another single car reviews. Today, today's car being the 1996 Toyota Supra or the 1996 Velfire Pioneer. So before we get started, I want to show you guys how I have this thing built. This is the 1996 Velfire Pioneer, or Pioneer, not Pioneer, in the trim in the turbo trim and the color silver metallic but the base trim is the only rims you can get there is a base trim though which removes the spoiler and probably has some performance upgrades so overall this thing looks um, really good and you do need the luxury pass to buy this thing it does have four seats and we can rev it a few times just to hear what it sounds like oh wow all right well it shoots flames you can see that but let's talk about the lighting. We have brake lights, headlights, turn signals, turn signals in the back, and reverse lights. Oh no, please, please. All right, we're stuck. Let's try this again. We're gonna try and hit the top speed in sport mode. I don't think there, oh wow. I don't think there should be any difference in the top speed, but every time you do switch gears, it shoots a big fat flame, which sounds like a gunshot. Okay, well, it's only to, through like the first two gears, not the rest. But let's take a listen to the horn. Alright, so very, very bad horn. I do gotta say. Top speed is gonna be 164 miles per hour or 264 kilometers per hour for those of you in a different country with six gears. So this thing has six gears and braking. Not bad. Uh, not the best, but not bad. Handling on this thing, I do gotta say, does seem pretty good though right off the bat. Let's get, a si let's get a 0 to 60 test. We're gonna do it in drive and we're gonna do it in sport. So, 0 RPM, 3, 2, 1, go. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All right, so about 8.02, or no, 8.2 seconds, not 8.02. So not bad, now let's flip this thing around and try and get a sport mode 0 to 60 test. So it seems like sport mode is the only um, mode that you're going to be able to shoot flames when you switch gears. But 0 to 60, 3, 2, 1, go. Both of them for the most part at the bottom at 0 RPM. And 60, I stopped a little bit late, but it's about 5.62 seconds. So, uh, not too much of a difference, only about three second difference driving it between sport mode and, um, normal drive. I'm surprised, um, Milk actually hasn't created a JDM pass yet, because I know a lot of people would buy that instead of putting it in the, in the sports car pass, not luxury, not luxury, do not buy it from luxury, you need the sports car pass. I'm surprised he hasn't put, um... A JDM pass. And for those of you wondering, the Sport Pass, I can't even check. Because I own everything and you can't buy it again. But I believe it's about 200. I'm probably way off. But yeah, let's try out the handling here. It's a little bit rough, like most cars. The turning radius itself isn't too great on any car in the game. But um, there are certain cars that's worse than the other. This one is isn't too bad, but we're gonna try and make this U-turn here. I know, um, like the Rivian truck from the other update, which had the four-wheel steering, that would be really good at making U-turns. But yeah, you can make a U-turn um, turning into the right lane from all the way to the left. You can turn into the right lane if you guys wanted really wanted to know that. So. Um, not too bad the handling or the turn turning radius, I should say. And um, this thing isn't too big, so it's not too hard to control. Uh, but every time you do slam on the brakes, you get the skid marks no matter. Well, obviously, if you're like under 50, you don't, but any higher than that, you do. You also have full LED headlights with the rest of the lights being halogen. 
And with that said though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Please consider subscribing. Go check out um this Supra in the Greenville revamp. Go join our Discord MC Cargit fan server. Link will be the first link in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.